Murphy's going to help us today, huh, Murph? All right. <laughs> A bicycle on the to-do list. So here's the ACS. I ordered this off of Ballard um, from the... Um, Oh, I ran across them on Instagram. Anyway, they were running a pretty good sale for this. Um, it was cheaper than Amazon, though it took a little bit longer to get, but that's all right. Hopefully, that doesn't have anything to do with any issues I'm going to have, because you fill out what, what your mower is and everything, and then they send you what you need. So, I put Toro MX5060... And this is what they sent me. So we'll get this opened. And actually, I gotta go get my little tripod thingy. Alright, let's see what we got in this thing. Where's my coffee at, Murph? Murph's gotta check everything out. Well, they definitely have opened it. So this is probably nothing to do with bad boys. Um, they have Murphy, come on, dude. He has got to sniff everything. It has to be Murphy approved. Dude, I haven't been mowing grass today, so I don't know what what you're sniffing on. I don't want to destroy the box. However, I'm probably opening something wrong here. How do you want to come out and do this? How about we do this instead of what I was getting ready to do? Plate and a bracket. That bracket is going to look so. This is the bracket for the Toro that I modified. This is where the you would normally put your so this part would be on the mower, this part would have the rubber chute. Well, I put this aluminum block on it, and I just wanted to try this. See if we can, and I hook my my accelerator bag to the Toro. However, come on, Murph. You gotta go, dude. You're, you're pissing me off. You're running into shit now. He's two, but he still acts like he's six months old. Yes, he does. Springs and bolts and cams and shims. There's the lever arm. Ah, the bracket with a ton of different mounting holes. Companies put all this bubble wrap in. It's a shoot blocker, man. Holy crap. That thing is huge. Uh, I think it's too big for my mower. They're supposed to, these are supposed to be like custom made. However, I think that's going to be too freaking big. I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do, real fast, is take a quick peek here.
yesterday. I didn't, I didn't get the basket. I didn't do anything with the shoot. So like I said, what I'm planning on is leaving the bagger on and running like this. And hopefully I can figure out how this can be quick on and off. So, let's see. Murphy, you're going to have to move, brother. So I'm going to have to put this on. Which you got that, and then there's a screw right there. Which what I don't like is I have to take that off to use my bagger. It's because the way the bagger's angled. Unless I can figure it. Come on, you, you really gotta you really gotta move. You guys are gonna hear me hear me tell him that a lot. He likes to sit right in front of you and not move his body. He knows he weighs 120 pounds and kind of forces you in. See this is not made to look at this. This is made to go on to this in place of this bracket. I don't know, we're going to have to do a little bit of tinkering around and figure this out, I guess. Murphy, what are you doing? What are you trying to destroy, dude? Oh, stick. Oh, come on. Keep, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Shall we begin? This is not a drill. Is that all you got? Let's begin. Shall we begin?
after I had my little rant, so we did get it finally fixed on. That's in the full closed position, so there's still a little gap there. That's not enough to matter because this is not a obviously not a full um, shoot block. So that's it in the closed position. Um, it's kind of kind of wonky here. Shit, didn't mean to let the deck down that far. However, see it's riding with the bottom of the deck. And then, uh, full open. And this is where my issue was coming in. I wasn't using the spacers the first time. So I couldn't get it over the chute bars for the, uh, the grass flat bars. So anyway, I put in spacers, drilled the new 3 8 holes, popped it in. However... I have got to come up with a way to make kind of a quick release so I don't have to get under here and undo these bolts and deal with two different spacers if I want to switch to bagger. So I'm still playing. I want to find a, one spacer that's that big and then some type of pull pin that I can run these, maybe run these bolts the other way around to where the end is up here and then run a pull pin through it. That way that I can drop this thing off. Oh, actually, let's take back every, well, no, never mind. These two wouldn't matter. They can stay because they're in this. Uh oh, I didn't mean to zoom. Didn't realize I was on the zoom there. So these two wouldn't need a pull pin because they're not in the deck. They're just in this, in my chute. I have to take this off regardless for bagging. This one, however, is through the deck. So this one I would need, I think I'm gonna try to flip it around and put a pull pin on it so I can pull it, drop the bolt, and then be able to throw my bagger on. But first, we're gonna go out in the yard and we're gonna play with this just to see how it does. My lawn was probably not the best lawn to train or to try this on because I grow my lawn extra tall and I cut that on, uh, what was that? That's two and a half, so three and a half. So I was cutting about three and a half and I normally cut on either four and a half or sometimes five. 
So I cut my grass lower than normal. Had to make multiple runs at it. And uh, let's go take a look at it. I already blew the sidewalk off. I got a little bit of learning curve there on what it can do, what it can't do. A little, a little clumpy in spots. Um, but overall, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I uh, bagging it obviously leaves it a lot cleaner looking. I mean, it's still striped. My, my lawn always stripes well, but my lawn is a fertilized lawn. So, and with what I fertilize with, it gives it that green, that dark green. <sighs> so anyway, a little bit of a learning curve, but I think on my normal lawns, that's uh, it's going to work pretty well. I did smash my finger playing with it while I was moving. And, uh, you know, like I said, learning curve, we'll get there. Uh, I had to adjust the cam because, if I can get this to... So when you're open, you know, full open, then you kind of close it. And you see how I'm, I'm not all the way closed. It wasn't doing that for me. The cam catch wasn't catching. Looks like my cam's about to come out. I'm gonna to have to adjust it. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't catching right there. You see, I can do that, and it releases the cam. There's that little notch that catches on this. Now it's completely closed. Um, so I had just had to tighten up the cam. This cam nut right here, and that fixed that. Uh, one of the parts I'm missing. This bolt should be the other way around. However, there, this thing, they put the wrong bolt in here and it is too long to be able to put in here and go in. It just won't do it. I tried it different ways and I started screwing up the thread. So I just caught it on this. That should keep it just fine. But anyway, that's it. We're going to try it out this week and, uh, See where we go from there. Oh, well, 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 yeah, we are.